My name is Savannah Saylor. I'm in the seventh grade at Madison Middle School. A true inspiration. Teachers, we encounter so many of these wonderful people in our lives that there is no way to remember them all, but there are always a few that stand out. Whether they go above and beyond, make learning fun, or inspire us to be better people, they all make a difference. As a seventh grader, I still recall memories from third, fourth, and fifth grade. Tips and tricks from back then still stick with me today. Fifth grade was an amazing year, full of memories I will never forget. My homeroom teacher, Ms. Kim Georgel, was the basis of many of those. She is a great teacher and an even better person, always going out of her way to make learning special. Whether it was creating silly sayings like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, for the order of operations, or reading stories about circumference and the Knights of the Round Table, she always made math fun. Aside from being a wonderful math teacher, Miss Georgel is also the most kind-hearted person I know. She constantly reminded us how important kindness and seeing the best in everyone is. She taught my classmates and me so many life lessons about helping others and going out of your way to do something kind for another person, just because you want to, not for any type of award or recognition. To make it even better, she led by example not just telling us how to exercise kindness, but by actually showing us. Complimenting students, coworkers, friends, and even strangers just came naturally to her. That is one of my favorite qualities about her. Another reason I look up to Miss Georgel is that she believed in me. She thought that I could do amazing things with my life and change the world if I set my mind to it. Her encouragement helped to boost my confidence. She once told me, Savannah, you have such a bright future and are an amazing young lady. She believed in me. All I had to do was believe in myself. Miss Georgel changed my life in fifth grade, but even since I graduated elementary school, she has continued inspiring me, probably without even realizing it. Around the end of February 2015, Miss Georgel found out that she had a brain tumor. I was devastated after hearing this, thinking, how could this happen to such an amazing role model? March 4th, 2015 was a day of relief for Miss Georgel and her family. She went through a successful surgery that day and is on the road to recovery. I haven't seen Miss Georgel since this happened, but just hearing about it through friends and social media, I've been inspired to be the best I can be every day. Miss Georgel is so much more than just a math teacher. She is a role model and a true inspiration to all those she comes into contact with. She definitely qualifies as one of those teachers I will, rem I will remember forever.